I'm Dr. O, and today at Harmonizing Your Horse's Health, I'm standing here with Dr. Amy and Match. And you know, Match is a horse, they, they brought in, they, they scheduled him kind of towards the end of the day, and they said, you know, if you can find anything wrong with, with Match chiropractically, go ahead and adjust him. And that's something that people ask me all the time. I don't know about you, Dr. Amy, but you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with this horse, but you know. If you think he needs to be adjusted, we'll do it, but, but I don't think there's anything wrong. You know, and, and as I look at Match, just standing here, I can tell you, Match needs to be adjusted. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Match can't stand straight. He has in, in, inefficient reaction with gravity. This is, we, he's standing where he wants to stand. Um, he can move from here. It's not like his feet are crossed or wide base stance or anything like that. But if you look really close, he's already weak in that right front. You can see it quiver back and forth just a little bit as we stand here. If we can get a close-up on it, maybe we'll be able to see it. But this leg just quivers every once in a while. It's a little weak. That, oh. that tells us that he's got fatigued muscle in that leg, in that shoulder. And, and one of the reasons that it's fatigued is because he's not using, he's not able to use his stabilizing muscles. And, and remember when we stand upright, or the horse stands upright, we use our stabilizing muscles Most to stabilize. Do. Well, we like to. We like to. Stabilizing muscles have short muscle fibers, a lot of connective tissue. They use glucagon as an energy source, and they're very efficient for long-term usage. When we stand with not parallel, or not perpendicular, sorry, kin bones, or in my um, shins, shins in my case, but in his case cannon bones, I can no longer use my stabilizing muscles. Now I'm having to use my mobilizing muscles. Mobilizing muscles, long muscle fiber, little connective tissue, use glucose, and if I stand here long enough, I'm going to get a lactic acid buildup. That's that burn you feel when you stand like this. So I'm going to be fatigued. And if I'm fatigued before I start, how can you expect me to win a race, to do two hours of class every week, you know? It's not going to happen. jump a cross-country course. To jump a cross-country course. The other thing that I can see as we stand here, let's go ahead and move on back, we see right here, Matt has an extra curve in his spine. But as you as a horse owner, let's just ask him to take a treat and see if he can I know where it's at. Oh, look, I can get it really easily. But I can't get it and look at the person in front of me at the same time. So he should be able to flex. He's flexing there. His head yes. is in a nice. If I make his head stay level, he, he backs up. Yeah, he can't. Not today. But when you're washing him off after his right, or I can go ahead and I'm going to stimulate a reflex, and everybody says, oh, you're hurting him. No, this is a reflex action. So when you go to the doctor, and they hit your knee with a rubber mallet, and you kick, it doesn't hurt. It's a neural reflex. So I'm going to stimulate a neural reflex that should... We have a trick horse. We'll get to that in a minute. But it should collect... Should arch his back, stand nice and square. You notice how one leg went forward. The other thing is, Dr. Amy said we have a trick horse. He does match know where his feet are. Because we already know he's got some is that the extensor muscles on the front of Match's leg aren't getting good sensory, sensory input from that stretch that he's doing. And think about if Match was a horse in the wild and he stood like this, 
What would happen if a predator came around? He has to move to move. And that might be the difference between match getting to see tomorrow morning or match being supper. So when people say, oh, I think my horse is just fine, he doesn't need to be adjusted, but this really broken legged thing over here definitely needs to be adjusted. Keep in mind that some of these subtleties of weak muscles, of muscles that aren't functioning right, of basically um, neuromuscular, neuromuscular subclinical neuromuscular problems are serious enough, they, they should be adjusted. And that is why it's beneficial to get every horse adjusted on a routine basis. On a routine basis. Some horses you're going to adjust twice a year. Some horses every two weeks. Yes. And most of them somewhere in between. Depending on their use, how long their injuries have been there, how well they respond, what they're, and how well they respond depends on wait, a lot wait, wait. of different things. And if, if I have a horse who has a cold or the flu or a runny nose or, goodness, he foundered last week, so we're not going to adjust him this week, that is about as counterintuitive to chiropractic as you can get, Dr. O. Those are the horses that need to be adjusted. The immune system is based on nervous input it's based and output. On sensory input and, and motor output. You're absolutely right. And, and remember, so we need to adjust those horses so that they can get better faster. And remember that chiropractic, we use the bones as a handle on the nervous system. Exactly. So harmonize your horse's health by a routine chiropractic adjustment.